everyone so last night i went to a christmas market with my friends carmina and oliver and of course my dog juancho was with us as well so like i said before i wanted to take you with me to some christmas markets and so here it is the thing is we went on black friday evening which made it so crowded but hopefully you still get an idea of what you will see in some german christmas markets here in berlin the Christmas market in Breitscheidplatz can be found beside the Kaiser Wilhelm Memorial Church and is one of the most popular markets in Berlin. It's located along Kurfürstendamm, which is one of the city's major shopping streets. One of the first stalls you'll see upon entering is the one that sells Stollen. It's basically a German fruit bread and their answer to the ever-popular fruitcake for the holidays. Back in 2016, this Christmas market actually made it to the news due to a terrorist attack that happened there. Since then, the city has opted for more measures to keep Christmas markets all over the country more secure. Those who perished in the attack are remembered through a memorial at the side of the church. Should you wish, you could pass by and give your respects. <laughs> Not gonna share. No. <laughs> Another classic Christmas market food you should try is the fried mushrooms. It's one of my favorites, and usually it comes with some garlic sauce, but the stall I got this one from didn't have it, which was kind of weird. So make sure that you go to one that does. It's so good. No kissing after, though. That's my friend Carmina's husband, Oliver. We're so convinced that Juancho has a crush on him, by the way. And of course, going to a Christmas market is never complete without having some glue vine. Known in the English-speaking world as mulled wine, this is warm, spiced, sweet red wine that helps keep you warm during winter. So that's all you have for me now. Chichi is done there, he's too short. Subject will not be found. <laughs> the concept of a Christmas market started out in Germany and is called a Weihnachtsmarkt or a Christkindlmarkt. The oldest Christmas market can still be found in Dresden and it is said to have started out in 1434. Can you imagine? These days, aside from the classic German holiday favorites like Lebkuchen or those champignons with knoblauch sauce, you'll also find some international favorites like fries that come with various sauces. Christmas markets are a big thing in Germany, and here in Berlin, almost every Keats has one. Some are really huge with rides and other attractions. When we went to this Christmas market, it was rather crowded because it was the evening of Black Friday. This American shopping holiday became popular among German retailers in the past couple of years, and it's not uncommon nowadays to see hordes of people going into stores for great discounts. Since the market was near Kurfürstendamm, shoppers eventually made their way there for some Glühwein and holiday cheer.
But one thing you should know about the Germans is that they make really beautiful decor, especially the ones made of wood. Christmas markets are great places to find such unique pieces for your holiday decor at home. If you're only visiting Germany and you're looking for souvenirs, nutcrackers and Christmas pyramids which originated from this country, as well as hand-painted Christmas balls are a good way to go. Christmas market, it was too crowded. Too cold, too cold as well. So we're gonna make our way to dinner because we haven't eaten enough apparently. No. <laughs> On the way to dinner, we should stop by shops because it's too cold. We're gonna warm ourselves up. Not by anything. <laughs> we're just going in for the heater. I swear. I swear. <laughs> It won't hold your hair. It won't hold your hair. You're gonna. It won't hold your hair. It won't hold your hair. Try more, let's try more. 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 What's something Berliners do regularly? Admire the lights along Kurfürstendamm, walk or bike almost anywhere, and eat food that's not from Germany. Kidding aside, Berlin has an amazing food scene and there's so many choices. That night, we decided to go for Korean barbecue with our friend Karen at Arirang. It's a restaurant I highly recommend for Korean food. Really authentic. Be aware though that the barbecue smell will stick to your clothes and hair, so you'll have to wash everything right away. It's really worth the trouble though. And so with that, we ended our evening. I hope you enjoyed going to a Christmas market with us and I'll definitely take you to more markets before the season ends. Please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video will be up. Till then, take care and see you soon.